two-person effort. Uh, Gene Sherman, uh, as the commander, was the primary pilot, and uh, he uh, he maneuvered the vehicle uh, once we had taken control away from the computer. Most of it was done by computer until we got to within about uh, 500 feet of the surface, and uh, no. No pilot worth their salt is going to let a computer <laughs> <laughs> Even if the computer was taking you to a perfectly good place. But in their defense, the computer never was taking you to a perfectly good place. There were always uh, boulders or uh, small craters or something that you needed to uh, avoid. And so they, uh, you took over manual control. And, and the uh, lunar module control system was such that uh, the computer was still in the loop. But what you, if you wanted to go farther downrange to avoid a boulder, you, you click the hand controller, and it would take those clicks and, and decide to, it would, and pulses take you farther down. Uh, or you could back up the same way. And if you need to go left or right, you did the same thing. So he was flying it with a, with a hand controller by telling the computer, give me this much more left or right, or downrange or backward approach. And the, uh, and so he, he just, he flew it that way, and, and, and then as you, my job was to watch the displays on the computer, which were giving you velocities primarily, by that point, were giving you velocities left and right, up and down. And, uh, and my job, uh, if you've ever been to the Smithsonian and listened to the tape, uh, the lunar module uh, exhibit at the Smithsonian in Washington, You'll hear my voice giving Gene Cernan the readouts from the computer. It was mostly, uh, it was all, at that point, it was all that left and right uh, and forward, uh, forward and back and up and down velocities. And uh, in the case of Cernan's landing, he was coming in a little bit fast uh, early on. And if you really start to listen to my voice, you'll see it start to raise in its <laughs> uh, And he finally slowed it down some, so we didn't have that carrier landing. <laughs> but uh, it was it was a combination of great manual skill on the part of the commander, and uh, and him having the information he needed in, from me and from the computer uh, on what was uh, what was happening with respect to his velocities. He was looking out the window and trying to fly that way, and I was giving him information on that quantified what he was seeing. 